This is just like The Matrix. Except it's not The Matrix. When the exact same genes reappear in the exact same order, it is what you call reincarnation. Your Majesty's life has got to change if she wants it to. I'm still the same me. Right now, Balem owns the title to Earth. Once you claim it, the Earth will belong to you. I will harvest that planet tomorrow before I let her take it from me. Jupiter Ascending. So Jupiter Ascending is directed by the Wachowski siblings and it stars Mila Kunis, Channing Tatum, Eddie Redmayne and Sean Bean. So Jupiter Ascending follows Jupiter Jones who is played by Mila Kunis. She's this girl who cleans toilets for a living and then one day she's been told she's a special and she hops on Channing Tatum's back with his Holver roller boots and they go around and basically it's her trying to stop an invasion and the destruction of the planet Earth because it's hers. Because she's the queen. Reincarnated. It makes no sense in the movie either. In positives, this movie, the first hour, I found a lot of enjoyment out of it. I thought it was fun, I thought it was well written, I thought it was a lot better than what everyone had been saying it was. It was nicely paced, it was well acted, but the best thing for this movie is the visual effects. They pushed this movie back about six months and it is visually stunning. It is the most visually gorgeous movie of one of the movies you'll see of the year. But then the hour ends, and it, whilst it's still being visually stunning, it becomes boring. The acting, like, goes down. The, they introduce a lot more characters that isn't needed. You know how sometimes you have that customer service thing where you, go to, where you try to go to one place but they tell you to go to another, and the other place tells you to go to another, and you just keep going around places without getting anything done? Yeah, they do that. They actually have a three minute montage of them try going from one place to another, to another, to another, for customer service. It makes no sense. The second, the, that second hour was full of bad acting and bad writing and poor direction. And it just became boring and boring and they tried to have this marriage ceremony and all this stuff happened and you just didn't care. You just wanted them to get to the point and them to finish the movie as quickly as possible. Which leads me to another point, it was half an hour too long. It actually was. I would have been fine if they had made a 90 minute cliched film where two thirds of it was good and the th last third was bad. But they tried to go on, but they ended up going on for an extra half an hour and the movie was really boring. It was and the acting from everyone was terrible. It, it, I just didn't understand why they had to go on that extra half an hour, because it felt like The Matrix again. This movie, in comparison to The Matrix, is almost the exact same movie in comparison to The Matrix. And Eddie Redmayne, oh, why mustn't I be speaking like this? And then have giant outbursts. What? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. He was terrible. This was like a, this was like coming out a couple weeks before he won his Oscar, and now he's like. But now we've moved on from that. We've forgotten about it. He's in Fantastic Beasts. Go him. I'm just gonna cut this short. The Jupiter Ascending was a bad movie overall. Two thirds, of, half of it was good, half of it was bad, but the other half of it just came became boring, and a lot of this crap stuff just got piled on top of it and on top of it. It had one of the best chase sequences I've seen of the year, and it had visually stunning, one of the best visually stunning movies I've seen. So it's got that going for it, and Mila Kunis was probably the best in the movie, despite her being okay. Channing Tatum and Sean Bean, they were okay, but I can't really go on much longer about this. Jupiter Ascending, I'm gonna give you a three out of 10. Have you seen Jupiter Ascending? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video if you've liked it, and subscribe to become one of the Palata Power. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.